you in the chat, press seven. <laughs> Are you in the chat? Three, Didn't think so. Two, one, Hell yeah. Go. Out, see. Out, yeah. Oh, There's one. We got one. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. I'm guessing he's so. Uh, he's sort of a weird guy. Oh, also, remember, they might have. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a weird dichotomy of a character. So it's sort of like he can box you out, um, and like he has the disjoints, so like he can survive in a, a short range. But I think he likes to use things like gyro for stuff and limit your options. Um, gyro is a bigger deal though on a smaller stage because it, it limits your options considerably more if it takes up more of the space. That's important. That being said, I have no idea what Yoshi wants. Um, I know he doesn't want that. I know he doesn't want to get murdered like that. He got me here. Okay. Yo, the dinosaurs are about to get a sting. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Love him. Love him. He just fell out of the box. Dude, that move is so good. More than one. Yeah. I think I made it look good. Yeah, now, now it's actually good because when he runs off stage like that and it hits your shield, it's like insane. The thing is, if you go off stage with it, it is so He does 10 moves on stage in one of the Yeah, because it's definitely unsafe on stage. So. Yeah. Alright, so Kev needs to start to like build a bit of a run back here. Well, I, I think so he kind of. Okay, that was nice. That was, yeah, he knocked himself out of there. Yeah, that was actually good. Yeah, that was sick. Oh, oh shit. I love the Every time. Even like a few character looks like fierce. Like uh, you're gonna die. Unless it's like I guess. Haha, I parried. I'm gonna I'm gonna die. Yeah. Oh wait, I lose. I don't know, probably still a lot. Again, a lot of tools. Cool, like, it's not really a zoner. Yeah. It's not really mid range. Got, that was a lot of like. He can also like pressure you with a lot. Like, he can pressure you off base as well because he's such a good recovery. Oh my god, the Like, it's. You don't really have a weak part of him. He's kind of slow. Kind of. His down tilt's very good. Oh, most of his other moves are like. Not super fast. But he's got a little bit of a distance. Yeah. Yeah. He's not gonna, he's not gonna like, like, not like, 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 You got red. That's not you, bro. That was a big ball of uh, I know, um, uh, it sort of fits his playstyle because he, he has a lot of pretty privileged buttons that he can sort of press. And Metro Bot is like, the king of just pressing buttons really well. Yeah, he's dead. There's, there's one of the tools where I say, like, so he also, like, he very uniquely has a strong advantage state in, like, because he's got, like, some lockdown tools, but when he converts to offstage pressure, that's when it gets really deadly. That's yeah. where I think Rob, he shines in two places, when he's restricting your options with projectiles, and when he's destroying you offstage. Correct. Because, I mean, like, he can just kind of sit there. Yeah. He really, it's... Oh. I just sat down. Well, alright, bye. We'll be back in five minutes. Nice. Or two. Okay. Three, so I'm curious to see um, how Kev's gonna change his game plan. Um, because, like, he was playing pretty well. He got blown up on that first dog. Um, the dinosaurs were definitely going extinct pretty early. Um, so. Like, seeing him get blown up like that, it was kind of sad to see. But right now, he's sort of just getting stopped. Like, he's getting outspaced because, like, Rob has that privilege. Um, so he needs to sort of, when he gets an opening, like, run for it. Right now, here's sort of saying he could try to convert uh, offstage pressure. And there's the other situation. So that was from one situation, I think, that Rob thrived into another. I think, like, the other big, like I said, was uh, gyro pressure. So he goes from offstage immediately into gyro pressure, back into offstage pressure, and then dies from it. Um, 
just because I think it really is a uniquely strong ability that like a lot of other characters can't like set up uh, an item on stage and like have it be a, no one else in the cast I feel can like put a hitbox on the stage and say you have to deal with this um, but, Re uh, but Reprobot and Rob specifically has a unique ability to do that Oh, he's recovering from the other side. All right, so right now, Retrobot sort of just needs to like, let, let things settle down uh, as he just sort of slows the pace of the match. Uh, he can still play a similar unique style of play now that he's lost that stock. Uh, but this is Retrobot. He likes pressing buttons. He presses very good buttons at the right times. Oh, nice. So th there's the gyro again, sort of just like... It's like setting Caltrop, sort of. You have to deal with him, um, and give him the fix of Off stage conversions. Like I said, it's really gonna be where he gets a lot of his kills. Because he sort of has an aerial off smash, what I love to call side view. Because again, and but it also like vortexes you up. It's very strong because of it. <laughs> right now, Kev needs to sort of... Kev needs to get this kill very, very soon. But he's getting sharked out. Because Yoshi really has very little things to contest like blood blood like that. Most people just have to run from that, which means it only adds to one of the I, one of the reasons I think um, Rob's recovery is just so good. But yeah, if I think he, if I think Rob lacks anything, it's like super high tier. Is this explosive? This explosiveness that a lot of the high tier characters have. Palu, um, like a lot of like the top level characters have. No like peach combos that'll kill you. On that level of stuff, um, he's. Just like I don't know, he he can't just explode and then you die. I guess he has to play a much more methodical game um, and sort of win over the long run, as Retrobot has shown multiple times that he's willing to do and is very good. But he's um, I, think, I definitely think he's a high tier character. Uh, is he dead? No, he's not dead. That didn't kill. We had the little red flash, but it wasn't the zoom in or anything. Oh shit. Nice! That was sick. That was sick. So he had the he had the immediate awareness to sort of say, hey, you didn't check that? Alright, we're done. Kick clap. 1-1. One, one. This is a hype way to go into this winner's uh, winner semis match. Alright. Let's see let's see who the eight of you are rooting for. Press one for Kev, press two for Retromod. I mean, we got Flyless coming back in the mic. Hell yeah. So, who do you think is going to win the second match? I think, I think it will be Retrobot. Uh, that's a safe bet. Yeah, uh, well, I don't know. I mean, he's, he's struggled with his in the past, but not kept you up until this point. But that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good fight back from Kev in the last game. Yeah. Uh, For sure. I don't know if he can do it twice, though. Let's see. I, I don't know. I think like I think it was pretty strong. Um, I think he sort of just was able to switch his game plan so extremely that I think he might have actually have a really good shot here. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Like, yeah, I'm not saying it's gonna be a wash. I just think it's gonna be a Because uh, I don't know. You never know when Retro Auto Yeah. Uh, and uh, Kev has taken over the lead here. I don't know about going off the baseball here. Like, you're not gonna. Yoshi's Yoshi not gonna. Yoshi's not gonna like I mean, Rob. Not gonna. Oh wow, that was a good trick. Wow. It's still going. Holy shit. That was like 30%. Yeah. Oh, Wait a minute! And, uh, but Retrobot has been missing all these fights. Like, even off the like eggs. I don't know. Like that could be foreboding in the future. That's yeah. why that's why he lost uh, lost game two. But he, he does uh, he hit, hit the he stage hits that tag. Yeah. That was a very important tech to hit. Yes. I think whoever loses the first stock in this game loses the loses the game. And that should be it. You think, I guess that makes sense because like neither character really can like explode the other one and get this like crazy comeback. Well, I don't know. You, if, if any of them. Oh, for actually, sure it's gonna be Yoshi. Actually, no. I, no. Really? I, I hear them could explode each other. Because Rob got the air uh, gyro side view. Yoshi just got big hitboxes. 
a lot of pressure, different pressure. Sure. I mean, but he also has like some some aerial combos. Like I know he, 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 he can hit it with several up airs in a row. Or like I don't know. He's sleeping sleep on the wall. I was talking about how he's top 15 character five, like five seconds ago. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think he's top tier. I think he's high tier. I think he was sort of last. I think he was top 15. Really? Top three. I'm not sure. Yeah. There's like almost 80 characters in the game. I think he's top 15 characters. Top tier. Okay. And that's my opinion. All right, that's fair. I, I personally say top tier is like top like five to ten. Four. Yeah, that's pretty small. My tier is the best. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. He's still a really good character. So, I mean, Yoshi's like, Yoshi's alright. Not as good as Rob. I don't think. I don't know. Rob feels like Yoshi sometimes. Yeah. yeah. He's got some really, like, privileged things that he can do. Like, uh, but. Oh no. No edge guard from Kev. I thought. If, if there was any time where I thought the fair spike was coming, I thought he'd be there. Yeah. His recovery is very strong, and he also has, like. He's unique. Well, I don't think. Is there any move like Gyro in the game? Uh, I can't uh, think of any right now. Like, Banana, maybe, but. Yeah, not, banana's not, not even as good as Yeah. Maybe like. Oh yeah. Like, maybe like all the names are comparable, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> didn't even know in this game. Really. Um, but yeah, so Retrobot is trying to solidify his new move with all of those bounces on the shield. But that was a good pair to get that. Yeah. You know, allowed him to get a much better. Well, like, it allowed him to get really any punish at all. A lot. Of, a lot of people freeze up when uh, Retrobot starts uh, bouncing on the shield. And, like, rightfully so. That was actually uh, getting a parry there. Was pretty cool. Yeah. I noticed that, like, Retrobot loves to like, bounce with your shield, and then Ooh. you panic, and then he presses the back. Button. Yeah. That was a solid conversion from the He didn't get the last hit of a back air, so he didn't get up air. And then he ended up converting that into a good thing. Yeah. So this is looking really similar to game two. If Kev can start wrapping up some damage, it could be his game to face. But, I mean, that, you could also say that it's a if I can see what happened. Got the down. Oh no, that's yeah, I'm surprised he didn't down throw, honestly. Really good air dodge from Kev to avoid that side. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I haven't got excited something up there. How much gas does he have left? Uh, the plot, rage. It, it doesn't matter, honestly. He's back on stage and yeah. <laughs> Okay, good parry from Kev. Alright, the back air oh, in there. Shit. Oh he if he had gotten that jump read, that would have been the game. Right. Oh wow, I thought he was going to be in too much m to avoid a laser, but yeah, the down smash. At that point, it would have been pretty much like anything would have killed. Um, yeah. But like, he's naming him sweat. Yeah, no, that, really was, that was definitely a really good, uh, really good last stock. Not quite enough.